Hey, what is going on? So today we're going to work on this LG Thin Q. Got the grill over here. I think this was a uh, ten thousand. I don't remember. Uh, this is one I got off the that big load I got off Facebook. Uh, the problem with this one was uh, you turned it on, the fan would not start. Uh, when you gave it a little nudge by hand, it would get going, but it would turn really slow. So I was thinking it was a capacitor, and it turned out that the capacitor does test bad. Uh, the the uh, compressor side is still good, and the fan side seems to be dead. So got another one here. Um, it was supposed to be the same part number, but it's not. It's actually it's slightly taller than this one. But uh, it's got the same same electrical values on it. I ordered three capacitors, believe it or not. I got, got two off eBay and two off another website. and it, It's a real nightmare trying to order this stuff. This is the original one. Yeah, I couldn't order it, readily order anything that was within 10% of these values on here. It's a 50, 50 slash 6, 270 volt. Yeah, it, real nightmare. A lot of incompetent people selling appliance parts on the internet. So, anyway, I got this one and it seems to uh, test good. So, I haven't actually hooked it up to the air conditioner yet, but... Anyway, we're going to, uh, I'm going to test it out here for the camera, and then we're going to install it in the air conditioner. So, let me set this up, we'll come right back. Alright, here's the uh, inside of the electrical box. I just thought I'd show this. Um, it's very easy to take the capacitor in and out. On most air conditioners, it's very easy. Uh, you just, uh, on two screws on the top of this. A uh, capacitor sits in here and the strap goes over it and there's one screw that goes through the strap. So it's very easy to take out and I just marked my wires. So I can put them back together quickly. So, Alright, so we'll come back. Alright, uh, now we're going to test our capacitor. I've already tested this but I'm going to just show how I did it here. Uh, so we just got a, this is a cheap multimeter. I got to set it ohms right here. I've got it at 200K. I think you can set it lower than that. I don't think it, I don't think it's all that important. I don't know. You know, I don't know much about this electrical stuff. So uh, d don't ask me too many questions because I probably can't answer them. Uh, so on the capacitor, we've got the C, which is common. We got the fan, which is for the fan, and the Herm, which I believe stands for Hermetic Compressor. That that runs the compressor. Uh, another thing is these capacitors can hold an electric charge in them, so you want to be careful handling these. Uh, you want to discharge them. Uh, I'm not going to get into that here, but you you, you want to be careful handling these capacitors so we're just going to test between common common and fan and common in the compressor so I got the red on the common and that's our compressor now the meter is going to slowly rise and then just fall back to one that's normal see so it that indicates you have a good compressor there and we'll do it with the fan. And we get nothing. And I'm going to reverse the polarity on these. I'm going to reverse the red and the black. And do it again. Sometimes you have to reverse them. And we're still getting nothing. So the fan's definitely dead on this one. Here's our compressor again. Compressor side is still good. I believe what you're doing is put, you're putting a small charge into it with your multimeter and takes a bit of the charge and it just shuts down. 
So this is our new capacitor. Here's the C. Here's the compressor. So this one looks good. And we're going to do it with the fan. I'm not getting anything. I'm going to reverse the polarity. And yeah, so we got something there. And I believe that's normal. I think the fan just doesn't rise as much as the compressor. So we are getting a some uh, signal there out of the the fan so I think this one's good but uh, anyway we're gonna I'm gonna install it now in the electrical box and we're gonna see how it runs the air conditioner if it runs the air conditioner okay we got our capacitor back in uh, I've not cleaned this up yet or anything you know there's a lot of a lot of tape residue on it and it's kind of dirty so I might not clean it up till next spring so let's turn it on. I got the uh, probe outside because I'm not sure if it'll start. It's kind of in the mid 60s here. I don't have the grill on all the way either. No, so the fan is working. I should have put this somewhere else instead of, <laughs> instead of having the cold blowing on it. Duh. Yeah, I didn't think about that. I'll stick it down here. Is the compressor on? Oh, it is on. This does have an LG compressor, which is just pretty quiet. Yeah, it's not very hot here anymore. Yeah, compressor sounds nice on this. Look at the label. Using my other camera now, it's I sort of fixed it. I'm not sure I fixed it properly, but. camera I can actually stick into the wind and it doesn't get all garbled. So yeah it seems to run pretty good. Let's use medium. Really a big difference in the speed. You, you can can hear it change speeds, but there's not a big difference there. There is a difference. It's, it's not a huge difference. I guess it's all right. Not 
not, not quite as quiet as that other big LG I had, that older one. That one was really quiet on low. This one's not quite as quiet. Anyway, this does have Wi-Fi. And I think our compressor shut off. Yeah, it's not, not very warm here today. So, there you go. That's the uh, LG Thin Q. It's going to look a lot better after I get it cleaned up and everything. So, that's it. I will see you next time.